Welcome to Scanning TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, and some other details we need to know on this channel. Mohamed Kudus. Kudus is trending yet again, and this time around, guys, it is really interesting. Kudus has posted something today, and after posting it, the reactions on it from the Saudi fans. Um, specifically, we will talk about the IT Hard fans, and it is really interesting. We will check it out in this update. I've already told you that Kudus. He will be moving from Ghana to join West Ham United. That is going to be possibly today because that's all the time recording this video. We are on the 2nd of July. So possibly today or tomorrow he is joining West Ham United. And we will talk about it in this update. We also look at some completed transfer updates. Yes, I will talk about them together with some of them which are also closer. And there's no map here. I will speak a little about him. Coach Otto Adam, his goalkeeper's trainer. That is Fatal Dauda has also said something about him. We will check it out together with some few other quick updates that we talk about. In this one, we also look at the Euro 2024. Today, or I would say yesterday, Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro, yes, his um, side, that is Portugal, they really suffered. And it took Diogo Costa, the goalkeeper, who actually saved three consecutive penalties in order for them to progress to the next stage of the competition. Well, we will talk about all this and more. You know how we do it. Anytime you join us, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel put out some post notification so then try to drop a like this update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy leave a thought and comment in the comment box after watching the video share the link for others also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel no time to waste you know how we do it i also try to give some few shout outs so stick and stay with me to the end of the video now let me do this quick um transfer update then i'll come to kudus own and we will take it from there first of all saint etienne in france they are now closing in on signing augustin boache augustin boache is a player for wolfsberger ac yes and wolfsberger ac they are also a solid side if you go to austria they are also doing so well over there this boy i watched him personally at west african football academy wafa he's really fantastic attacking midfielder and he will give you goals he will also give you assist right now saint etienne in french league one they are closing in on signing the player and according to multiple reports they have prepared everything on the table and tomorrow 10th of July 2024, the player is moving from Uzbega AC to go and join Saint Etienne to have his medical. So, if he passes all the medicals, everything is completed. It is expected that um, um, that is Saint Etienne. They are going to pay 5 million euros for the player to join them, and that is going to be an amazing one, guys. Let's watch out for this boy. His powerful left foot. You are going to enjoy him at Saint Etienne in the French League One next season, and that's going to be a great one because Ghana, we have a lot of players in the French League One. So, if you also join them is going to be a great one now this player i'm talking about i said he played for wafa he has some cool numbers in here in ghana then he moved to woodsberger ac he played for the um two side and um he scored five goals in some 15 matches that he played he also moved on to join the senior side where he has played 54 matches and scored 15 goals then providing 13 assists for his side he's really fantastic attacking me further and moving to saint etienne is going to be a good one for this particular player Mohamed Fuseni, you guys can recall him yes last season he was playing for randes he moved on loan from stormgrass to join randes and he was scoring a lot of goals he was scoring hat trick brace and some fantastic goals getting nine goals in the season and also giving one assist in that short spell that he joined them in some 16 matches that he played for randes in denmark and this boy right now he is also signed to um, Royal Union St. Julius. He has also completed his move to join them. And that is it also for him. And everything is in place for the striker. So now he has moved from Stormgrass. That is a club that he is from. But he played last season on loan for Randers. So right now he's moved from Stormgrass to join Royal Union St. Julius in Belgium. And the fee is around 2 million euros. That is it that they have paid for the player to join them. It is three years plus one year um addition that is the contract he assigned and clubs like swansea city they were interested in this striker we also have utrecht they were also interested stad ren was also interested as well as como yes in italy they were all interested in signing the boy that by the boy has decided to join royal union st julius in fact if you try if you check that club they really turn out a lot of talent so i think the boy decided to select that side so that he will continue to grow from denmark to join this side i think he's going to hop in in belgium and that is it also for mohammed fuseni a striker now for royal union st julia now let me move on and talk a little bit about ns normal appear yes i've seen a lot of people are training him because right now he's not a player for olympic Lyon. well we will say per the contract that was signed last season ahead of the player joining olympic Lyon, he is now a player for molimbique 
he is now a player for Olympic because at that time Olympic Lyon do not want to go against the financial fair play rules in um, you know French League One, so they decided to let um, you know Molibik sign him. After that, the Molibik loan the player from them to join Olympic Lyon for him to play the season. Now, after the season, Olympic Lyon has to trigger that release clause for the player to join them permanently. And that is what is left right now. That is why many people are reporting that. Um, and it's normal Mapia is not a player for Olympic Lyon. But as of now, um, all his details and everything is still Olympic Lyon. Nothing has changed yet. If it is changed and it is confirmed, I'll bring it to you on this channel. We understand AS Roma, they are interested in signing the boy from Olympic Lyon to come and join him. But I think per how he started over there my Christian speaking about him saying that yes he knows the player is going to do well I think Olympic Leon is still going to keep him so we will say um, technically the player is still for or he's now for Molimbique but I believe he's going to stay at Olympic Leon and that is also a quick one on NS Noama Apia. Now let me come to Mohamed Kudu's own because I know most of you guys will actually be waiting for it before you go to the heroes and the other ones. So Mohamed Kudu's last two days or would I say the last three days yes I brought you an update on this channel that Kudu's has been named as the best player in Ghana here footballer of the year for the GF awards the seat edition and Kudu's won the fifth edition and he has also won the seat edition on that night he also won the goal of the year so this boy grabbed two hours he's really fantastic we all know the job that he did last season for western united after that a lot of clubs are interested liverpool they want to sign him manchester united also want to sign him Arsenal, a lot of the clubs are going on they are all coming in to sign kudus now if you go to saudi arabia al Ittihad, they are prepared to pay 150 million dollars to West Ham United in order to take Mohamed Kudus from West Ham to join Aitiad in the Saudi Pro League. And they have also prepared an amount of around 300,000 US dollars to give to Kudus every week at Saudi club site Aitiad. Now, after this particular news came up, we've heard a lot of um, people talking about it. Some are saying it is good for Kudus to go for the money. Others are also saying that Kudus, you are taking close to 100,000 at um, West Ham. So relax, you get better deal your money will increase and a whole lot of brouhaha around it. Kudos himself is here to speak and as I said, Kudos is set to join West Ham United by this Wednesday he needs to be at the camp because that is the release that came out that aside their players who are playing in Eros and Copa America, all the rest should report at camp and they will begin their preseason. They will be playing games in USA and that is it also in there. So Kudos, after he grabbed those two awards, he came on Twitter, yes, um, or I would say X, formerly called Twitter, and he posted this today, this evening, around around 11 13 pm the marathon continues highly honored and grateful for the recognition thanks to everyone for the belief and support hashtag unless they kill god hashtag kudu's dream and this is what he posted with four pictures from the award ceremony now right after kudu's posted this one guys go to the comment section it is really interesting it is fire the most comments are coming in from saudi arabian fans and specifically from it hat i don't know why they have actually bombarded the comment box so let me share some with you in this update and many are like why so where is kudus going have they heard something different from what we are hearing because just rumors and all of a sudden they are all taking over the comment box it tells us that yes if you go to saudi arabia right now kudus is really popular and they know that he's heading to the league and specifically, IETR fans are calling for him. I've already told you that those people who are actually, um, you know, owning the big clubs in there, talking of IETR, Anasal, Ahelal, Al Ali, they are actually going in for Kudus. So after that, Kudus, um, you know, he will decide to join one club. But for now, it seems like IETR, they are calling for him, just like what they want to do for Pate. And these are some of the comments. Um, one person came here. I can't mention their name. So if their name is really clear or it's in English, I can do that. One person commented, come to IT Hard, Saudi club, please. Then he dropped their colors, the black and the yellow. Then the next one also posted, that's Walid. Um, he posted this, come to IT Hard. Um, they, so he tagged their you know, page and um, he said, hashtag kudos to IT Hard. The next one, Mark um, Geshwind also posted, big time baller, super well deserved. Okay, let me go on to the um, you know, comments from the IT Hard fans. That is really interesting. So another one also dropped. We yeah, really um that is from is it airways well i'm not getting any more we want and um, we really want you to come to greatest club in asia 
our fans will be always behind you to support you as well as all the players it is going to be a great moment to be a tiger that is what they posted dropping kudos um celebration on the seat and some few other ones now let me move forward um well come to biggest club in asia that's according to abra that is what he also commented big club in asia it's yard and they also dropped some video um a man um a man yes also posted please Mohamed kudus come to it hard club and play alongside the greatest in golo kante and karim benzema and to the strongest and biggest fans in asia please come and accept it has clubs offer as soon as possible and the, uh, you know he also added some images we want you to come to the greatest club in asia and the um, greatest fans want you to um, want you in their club and he also added some images come to it hard it kept on coming as i said i'll be rolling some of um you know those comments here so you can just pause the video and check them out so they basically they are all calling for kudos to join them i don't know what they've heard as i said i don't know what is going on in saudi arabia right now i i feel like i'm there and i can understand their language guys if you are watching me from saudi arabia and if you can hear the language what is going on over there about kudos because kudos posted something and all of a sudden itr fans have taken over the comment box and as i said just go to twitter um you know or x just set for muhammad kudus the official accounts look at the post and look at the comments interesting so let's see how the coming days will go like for muhammad kudus blasters goalkeeper um trainer that the fatal dada has also spoken about otto adam as the head coach for the black stars team and this way the words that he said on city sports this is what he revealed about um, you know otto adam we are trying our best to make things happen because things should be better but it takes time the games we played are over the games um, ahead are very important he otto adam always want to share ideas with the technical team he always makes sure we align with each other he is a manager he knows how to manage players not only coaching that is according to Fatai that um you know that, that what he has to say on Otoado. Yes, Otoado, many are actually um, applauding him on how he's able to manage the players well and manage the camp because sometimes you know there are a lot of problems that will come but he's able to manage the players well and that is also from Fatal Dauda. We hope that as he said, the games left is very important for us. They should go all out and give Ghanaians joy on that front. Now, let me actually end it here and um let me end it on the Euros 2024. Yes, let me give you all the um, you know score lines or the results from the round of 16 games and also some of the few games left and i will be out of here and that is it switzerland yes from the round of 16 they started first um they played against italy where they defeated italy by two goals to now we also had germany they also defeated denmark by two goals to now england yesterday they really suffered jude bellingham has to score on the 90 plus four minutes to give them that um you know um good goal that they needed in order to score the second goal at the extra time spain also won by four goals to one yesterday i've already brought you a quick one on this channel france defeated belgium um, by a goal to nil today it was a fantastic goal in fact it was almost for um Colombiani, but later they actually awarded it as an own goal from vetonhan then portugal as i said today it was really tough cristiano ronaldo's side ronaldo is doing everything possible to score today ronaldo played seven shots four on targets three off targets taking free kicks doing everything possible he has to even miss a penalty against jano black but later on um in the penalty shootout he also stepped up and scored and it was really interesting but hey diogo costa was the hero of the day he saved three penalties on that on like consecutively first second third and that is it for portugal so these are some of the few updates let me know your thoughts in the comment box now let me give shout out and i'll be out of here because i also want to enjoy the copa america yes so shout out going out to um certified mike thank you for being here you commented another last video mr bronzy is also here i've seen you um, Michael um, Oseiku, thank you for being here. Raymond McCarthy is also here. Haruna Braima, you're also on this channel. Thank you. Then I have Diko Said Musa. I appreciate you so much, Diko. Ebenezer um, Asante Boedu is also here. Beatrice Yeboa, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Kennedy Yeli is also on this channel. Let me move on. Yindo um, Kingsley, you're also on this channel. Then I have Quick News GH. Stefan DK, Vosha Silvanos, Gideon Akagbo, Dache Hene, Sakwa Ebenezer, um, um, AJ Sharif, yes, um, then also a Barak Sestre says five Baba Ojake is also on this channel. Godfred, funny comedy, thank you. 
Dachin Hine, okay, I think I've mentioned already. Evans um, is also on this channel, yes, and some of the other fantastic guys. I'll be bringing you more shout outs in my subsequent updates. True N, yes, I say you should DM me, so I hope you do that. So, guys, these are all the latest updates I have to um, share with you in this update. Don't forget to always like the video for me, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.